Hi, my name is Jason Bagnell with JB Computer Services. In this video, I'd like to show you how to install the classic Windows 7 style start menu in your Windows 11 operating system. Some people just find the newer menu systems that Microsoft has created just more confusing and there's more to learn and they just wish they had their old menu system back. And that is entirely possible. So you can simply open a web browser. In this case, I'll use Microsoft Edge. And I recommend that you go to google.com. I just seem to get better search results when I go use Google. In the search box, search for open shell download and push enter. And the link you want to click on is the link that starts with https github.com open shell open shell menu. So that's the right one. Click there. And on the next page on the right column, if you look down a little bit, you'll see releases and there's a version number and then there's a little bubble that says latest. Just click on the circle that says latest and that takes you to this page in which you scroll down until you find the assets portion and click on open shell setup and then the version numbers listed .exe. Now your browser should start downloading the file. And there might be a few hoops to go through. Sometimes they try to protect you from running random files on the internet. But this is a great program. I've installed it hundreds of times. So in Microsoft Edge, you have to point to this here, Open Shell Setup, click on the three dots, and tell it to keep the file. And it gives you another warning. It says, are you sure this could be dangerous? Well, this file is not dangerous. Uh, so click Show More and Keep Anyway. And at this point, it downloads the file, and then you simply have an open file button. If you're in a different browser, go through whatever steps were required to allow it to save the file, and then simply run it. So from here, Classic Shell begins to install, and all you have to do is click Next, and agree to the license agreement. Click Next again. And I have a preference of not installing parts of a program I really just don't want to use. So there's a part of it called Open Shell Update. That is good. Classic IE, I don't really want it changing any of those settings. So I will disable it for that one. And then also Classic Explorer. I'll click the drop down and choose the red X. Entire feature will be unavailable. And once those are set like that, um, click Next and click Install. Now the program is installing. You might get your security prompt where you have to allow it to make changes. And shortly after, it's installed. So you can just simply click the finish button. So from here, the easiest way to finish the entire installation on your keyboard, if you have between the control and alt key, if you have a Windows flag key or the Windows key, simply push it and let go. And that pulls up the uh, settings for open shell menu. And what I recommend on this page is that you leave it selected for Windows 7 style. And the other choice is if you are okay with just pushing your Windows key and having the new uh, old style menu appear, then you can just click OK and you're done. But a lot of people want an actual button on the screen. So what I recommend is to click on the Replace Start button uh, checkbox. And as you see down in the bottom left corner, that did put a little classic shell, open shell menu down there. And then just click OK. So at this point, you can click on the bottom left corner where the little seashell is. And up comes the classic start menu, just like we're used to. It has um, some of the apps there. You've got your program list here, just like the old XP and Windows 7 days. And then what a lot of people miss most of the classic style is the uh, user files, documents, pictures, music, and a quick way to get to your devices and printers and the control panel and all kinds of stuff uh, that are not available anymore with the Windows 11 menu. In contrast, this is what you're having to learn and dig through over on this side. So at this point, the open shell menu is installed. Anytime you want the old style, you go to the left side of the uh, start menu bar, uh, taskbar, and then click here. And then whenever you want the new style, you just click the original start button that came with Windows 11. And there's a few extras that I like to show you in the Open Shell program. It has, one thing I use a lot is Control Panel. And this is a list of all the original Control Panel icons. If you want to see a big view of that, you can simply double click on the words Control Panel and even put it into Category. And this should look familiar to you. Um, if you've been with Windows forever, you might get around quicker finding things here uh, than in the newer menu system. 
And there's another trick that I'd like to share with you. A lot of people miss their My Computer or This PC icon that used to be up in the top left corner of the screen. In order to get that in Windows 11, simply right click a blank spot on the desktop and then a menu appears. Choose Personalize and then you need to click on Themes and you'll see under related settings you'll see desktop icon settings once you click that you have the option to put a check in the box next to computer and then click ok and then if we go back to the desktop screen you'll see now we have a this pc um, and that's just for people that really like the old style i find myself guilty of that where i still like having this pc up in the top corner um, that appears just like it did back in the good old days. Now, I do recognize and realize that if you click your yellow folder down on the bottom, it pulls up pretty much the same thing, but uh, people that just sit down at the computer that don't know Windows 11 or don't know even Windows 10 and 8 and how the new operating systems operate will appreciate that. So hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, the program can be uninstalled anytime. Uh, simply going to the Start button, go to Settings, and go into apps and apps and features see how it's just more complicated so if i were to want to uninstall this i'd have to go through all those steps we're back in the good old days with my new start menu that i added you would just click on the seashell and you know that under control panel you've got programs and then up comes the simple list and you can select the program you don't want, double click it or right click it, and uninstall. So just one more example of how things can be quick and easy if you're used to the old style. So if this was helpful and you liked this video and it had value to you, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. And I plan on making more technical videos that are coming out soon. So thank you very much for your time. Enjoy your new start menu and have an awesome day.